Let me ask you a question. Where are you most of your time? Are you in the present moment? Are you in the past? Or are you in the future? Now, what do I mean by that? Most of the time, when you're just in your daily life, where are your thoughts going? Are you thinking about all the things that have already happened? Are you thinking about different situations that you've been through? Um, are you thinking about what's gonna happen? Where do I need to go? What do I need to plan? Who do I need to see? All of those things? Or are you like, hmm, that flower is nice. The sky is lovely today. I'm feeling really good. This moment is amazing. <laughs> That what, what you're talking right now in that video is, is amazing. Are you like this? Which one are you the most? Now, let me um, help you with something, if I may. When we're mostly in our past, that's where we, have, we can be a little bit depressed because we're constantly going through the same scenarios all the time, all the time, all the time without it actually helping us. The past is good place to visit for any lessons, so any learnings, and also reflection as in, okay, what could have I done differently? How can I learn from it? So any learnings, you wanna go back to the past, okay? Now, future, if we're constantly in the future, we're gonna be very anxious, okay? We're gonna be stressed, we're gonna be, oh my God, I need to do this, what if this happens? What if that happens? A lot of fear, a lot of fear, yeah? And that can actually paralyze us and not help us at all. So again, you don't wanna be all the time in the future because guess what? You're missing out on life. And life happens right now right here, right now, okay? And this is the present moment. As you are watching this video right now, this moment, whether you watch this video again or not, you will never have it back. This is the only moment there ever is. No moment will ever be the same, okay? So just value that. And also understand that if we are constantly in our past and constantly in our future, then we're not really in the present and we're missing out on life. So when you're 90 years old, you're looking back and you're like, well, I, I never was present. And you just feel like life is kind of passing you, but you're never really here. And this is where the magic is. This is where life is, right here, right now, paying attention in everything around you right now. Wherever you are, in your house, outside, in your car, wherever you're watching this video from, pay attention, look around, what's actually going on? When you're having conversations with people you like or love, what are they actually saying? Are you actually there? Or are you constantly thinking on the next thing you have to do? And how is that helping with the quality of your relationships? So... Something that I realized from my own personal journey was that when I started being present, my life became incredible because I actually was there to experience it. I'm here to experience it. Before, I just felt like everything's kind of going away and, and there's never, there's no stop and, and how, how can I get here? Personally, what helped me was meditation. Brought me back into the moment in my day life as well. So, past is a good place to visit for lessons. Future is a good place to visit for goal setting. For setting your direction where you want to go. But that's it. There's no point to create stories or what's going to happen. And 97% of the stuff that we're worried about never actually happens. So stop worrying about it. Stop being afraid. Easy to say, right? <laughs> so next time you feel overwhelmed by something in the future or something in the past, bring yourself back in the present moment. Use your breath. Use the awareness of what's going on around you. Come back into your body, how you're feeling. And maybe explore with meditation. Yoga. Going into nature. All those things will help. And whether you feel like 
uh, what is that going to help with my life? Personally, it has made such a difference in quality of my whole life. So explore with that. Now, in Awaken the Goddess project, we actually explore with this area as well. There are meditations in there. And we explore in how we see the time as well. Are we in the present moment? So if you're interested more in that, visit our website. Um, if not, no worries. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And hopefully you got something out of this video. And try to practice this week just being present as much as you can. And see if there's any differences in your life. Have a wonderful rest of the day.